All right, now to the major decisions from the U.S. Supreme Court today that delivered uh, a defeat for gay rights advocates. In a 6-3 to three decision, the court's conservative majority ruled a Christian graphics artist can refuse to work with same-sex couples. The ruling effectively nullifies the Colorado anti-discrimination law. Priya Mann is live tonight tracking the fallout from this, Priya. Good evening, Kim and Devin. Yeah, we spoke to a professor of constitutional law at Wayne State University. We also spoke to LGBTQ advocacy groups, and this was a day that advocates say they had feared. And while the decision is narrow in its scope and narrow in the businesses that it impacts, um, it still sets precedent, right? Cheryl Zach is with Affirmations, a welcoming space in Ferndale for people of all sexual orientations. The deputy executive director says she's disappointed but not surprised with the Supreme Court's ruling. Justice Sotomayor wrote in, in the dissent that it's the first time in history that the courts have given permission for a business that's open to the public to discriminate on a protected class. On Friday, the justices divided six to three on ideological lines ruled in favor of a Christian web designer who refused to work on same sex weddings. Did this come down to a First Amendment issue, freedom of yeah, speech? That's how the court saw it. I don't think the court framed it correctly, but that's how the court saw it. Stephen Winter is a professor of constitutional law at Wayne State University. To take a case at this stage, as the court did, um, is to uh, impoverish decision making, uh, to risk making a less thorough and thoughtful decision than one might have in better circumstances. While LGBTQ advocates say the ruling is a setback, here in Michigan, they're still optimistic their rights will be protected. We went to the ballot box last November, we voted, and we changed the trajectory of Michigan. We've had a lot of pro-LGBTQ legislation, and so Michigan's a good place. And she's, of course, talking about the expansion of the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act that happened earlier this year in Lansing, expanding protections for LGBTQ members. She hopes other states may follow suit in light of today's ruling. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Priya, thank you.